So the next item we're going to move on to is what we've called bolted stair. And this is to do with where you have a connection between the tread and the stringer. And that may be via a angle or a flat plate uh, end detail to the tread. Uh, the tread could be also a special part as well. So under the connections tab, which you find under tread connections, We've obviously set the type for this example, which is an angle tread, and we've got a bolt in both faces in the stringer, connecting to the stringer and connecting to the tread itself. If we come to the bolts tab here, we can see that we have a bit of a tree here, and obviously on the stringer is set, so this will be the connection of the bolt to the stringer face through the angle cleat. So what we've done is introduce this option here so that allows you to control the assembly location. Uh, this is a standard feature obviously of bolts inside advanced steel. Uh, previously you would have had to go out of the macro to access this so what we've done now is brought it inboard of the macro that allows the user to toggle the condition here. So for example if we toggle that to shop it will change the assembly method for the stringer and cleat. So we can just take a look at how you can check that while we're in here as well, just to show that it has done that. So we can use this display objects connected in the shop. And with that, I would expect the stringer to show red and obviously the cleat that is supporting the tread as well. So also this has been applied into, as I mentioned earlier on, a special part tread. There's an option in there to control the assembly location. So at the moment, the assembly location is set so that it would be done on site. So if we bring up the joint properties again, uh, previously you would have had to go in and obviously edit it under each individual property to allow you to control this assembly methodology. So if we, if we go under tread again, go to connections under here. So you'll see that it's not in connections under here. That's because it is a special part tread. So that is one thing to note that's different. So if we come back here to type, we can see it's set to special part tread. If we come back to dimensions, we can see in here the bolt parameters are under the general tab of the special part. And the new bit that's been added in is this shop site location for the bolt assembly. So again, if you wanted to do it in the shop, you would change it to that. And then that will change the assembly method for that particular staircase. So again, if we just uh, cycle through that now and just check... So the bolts have gone red and this, this box around the edge of the special part means it's all part of the shop assembly as well. So it's now considered to be bolted into the shop. Um, the other element that it is in as well is some users use our macros for balance stairs and the same uh, functionality applies in that as well. Um, it's in the same place. Uh, so you have a particularly in this example, an angle cleat arrangement. Again, I would come down on the connections, uh, similar kind of thing, it's set there. And this is the assembly location in here. So you can affect what's going on on the treads or on the stringers under the normal tree arrangement. So it's a, a small change uh, for this version, but uh, quite a useful one. It saves you going out and having to change all those bolts individually within the model.